PitFirstBoxing.com. We're in the house with Michaela Mayer. Mayor. I'm Michaela. First things first, congratulations. You're fighting on one of the biggest cards that ends 2017, Lomo Rego. What's your feelings on that? Um, definitely an amazing opportunity. I mean, this is not just a big fight. This is, I think, a historical fight. I mean, it's the first time two two-time Olympic gold medalists are going to face off in the ring, and it's definitely an honor to be on this card. Honor to be top ranked first female, and the fact that they are you know, giving me the respect and putting me on such cards is definitely a big deal. But you hit it right on the nail. I mean, this whole night is pretty much all Olympians. Yeah. You got Shakur. You got Colin. You got Rigo. You got Lomo. Mm -hmm. The whole crew of amazing fighters. Sure. What got you involved in the world of boxing? Um, I started off as a teenager. There was a Muay Thai kickboxing gym by my house and I was kind of just going through it as a teenager. I was in my fourth high school at the time and I just came with, up with the idea that I needed to start something new. So I walked myself into the Muay Thai gym, signed myself up. Um, I think like most people who start out in combat sports, I just become obsessed with it. And I did, and I transitioned to boxing soon after that, about a year, um, just to develop my hands a little more, but I fell in love and never turned back and worked my way up the national level, um, developed a dream to go to the Olympics, came short in 2012, lost in the finals of the Olympic trials in 2012, and then um, immediately set my goals for 2016. What was the amateur record? I couldn't tell you my record, but I do know that I have almost 150 amateur fights, so it's Ooh. up there for sure. <laughs> Beautiful woman. Thank I mean, you. not too many women get in the world of boxing. Not too yeah. many. I mean, in Poland, there's a couple good fighters out there, but here in the U.S., you don't get too many women boxers. It's it's growing for mm -hmm. sure, but yeah, I mean, I definitely remember like starting out and being one of the only girls in the gym, so it's come a long way. This could be your third, fourth fight. Third fight, yeah. Third fight. Who are you fighting? Um, I'm fighting Nidia Feliciano from. She's here from the Bronx. So a little more seasoned as a pro, which she's at like 23 pro fights, which I think is a good step up for me than from my last two opponents. You know, I've had a lot of experience in the amateur, so I'm ready for the step up. Beautiful. And what do you train out of? Um, right now, I'm originally from LA, but mm. I'm training out of Stockton, California with Gabe Flores and Al Mitchell. Nice. A couple last words for your fans worldwide. Um, tune in to the ESPN app this Saturday. Fights start at 7. And uh, yeah, hope you like it. One last question. Lomo Rigo, how do you see the fight going down? Um, I'm Team Lomo for this one. Uh, I think that size difference, age, um, just is the angles that he uses. So, But I know the Cubans come hard. I definitely have a lot of experience watching the Cubans um, up in personal, traveling you know, throughout the, U throughout the world, seeing them compete. So I know it's going to be a good fight. Beautiful. Thank you. Thanks.